Three months ago, I did a video about Restream's Live Studio feature, and it was a jam-packed video where I went through all the different features available, including having multiple guests on one stream, all from my browser. I've actually partnered up with Restream to produce some really cool content, so stay tuned for that. But in this video, I'm gonna cover all of the brand new features. So what do you say? Should we hop? In? Yeah, that's we're gonna we're gonna hop in. Here we are in the live studio. I will mention I am on the pro plan. However, they have a free version. Like you can literally use this right now for your streams for free. The first setting that we have to check out is here in the settings, advanced settings, boom, quality, full HD. That is honestly extremely important. But again, it notes here that some platforms like LinkedIn and Periscope are downgrading stream quality to just HD. But look at that. We also have another new feature here at the bottom, which is stereo audio input. And this is going to make your stream sound even better, which is great if you're looking to repurpose your stream into something like a podcast. This next feature is really game changing for a lot of people. If you're looking to host an actual show, this is going to make your production quality look real nice. And that is the ability to have a pre-roll video. So in the last video I showed you, you can have all these different overlays, which I think is really nice. But also in this section, you have the option to play a pre-roll. So the one they put in by default is a countdown. So I press show and there we go. We have a countdown, but I could hide that and I could put something in like the intro to my show, which in this case, let's do pimp my setup. It's time for the original setup show. So yeah, having that video uploaded and ready to go for me to just click and put through to the stream is really a nice feature. But what about just playing a video in general, not necessarily a pre-roll, something that I want to interact with the stream and still show my face? Well, they have that too. <laughs> Down here at the bottom, we have play a local video, which you could also just hit O and it'll pop it up. So click that and now it says open video. Once you add it, it will show up here on the right hand side and all you have to do is click the little toggle button to have it show up. And of course you could change the layout, which we'll get to in a second, but uh, it does play audio. I just have it muted right now. This is really nice to have though. And once it's done playing, it'll actually just remove the source altogether. That way you're not stuck with a, a black screen uh, playing during your stream like you'll see right there, boom. Okay, so let's talk about layouts. If I wanted to, I could enable myself on my laptop. I could bring in a Chrome tab with my YouTube channel up, and this looks great, right? We know from up here, from the last video, I can switch it to this view, uh, but we also have the option now to actually spotlight someone. So for instance, if I wanted to, I guess, show off my laptop view, I can do that, but I also have everyone still in the bottom right corner. But if I wanted to get rid of that, I could just maximize and there we go. And then same goes for anything else here. Let's take a look at my YouTube channel. Let's maximize it. Let's just spotlight onto me. Let's maximize me. This is something that I, I think is honestly really important because it really gives you even more flow just between we could talk like this. And then if someone's really getting into a good topic, bring them in. And then if I want to still capture our reactions, I can make sure we're there on the bottom right. It just gives you a lot of different options, which in my opinion is really necessary to keep the viewers interested. As someone who's hosted hundreds of live streams with other people, I can tell you a pain point is trying to easily send them a message that they can check during the live stream. Now I'm talking about telling them things like, hey, here's a link that we're talking about on stream right now, or hey, you need to fix your audio, something's going wrong, or there's a monster in your door, but would turn around. Like, I don't know, there's a lot of different things you could have to tell someone during a stream. And Restream now has a feature in the actual stream that both you and the guest get to see, and if they press it, it's a private chat. You literally could just be like, hey, here's the link, or Yo, d dude, there's literally a monster in your doorway. Or, hey, um, can you fix your mic? Like, what? what <laughs> we're live, dude. Like, what, what are you doing? So I think this is an extremely underrated feature, and I love it. One feature that's not out yet, but is coming this month, is the ability to actually put the entire live chat on your screen. So right now, you can choose a live comment and feature it, which is nice but you soon will be able to have the entire chat just show up on your screen, which in my opinion is cool for, you know, maybe a pre-show or after show, or you wanna answer some questions. 
and let everyone who's maybe doesn't have the chat open the ability to see what's going on. There's honestly so much more to talk about with Restream, like the fact that you can actually schedule streams on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, all from the actual Restream dashboard. And that includes actually attaching a thumbnail and all of that, which really just makes your life so much easier. But I'm going to save all that stuff for future videos. So stay tuned because I will be doing much more with Restream and I want to Give them a shout out for sponsoring this video and being super awesome. I'm just honestly really happy that this even exists and I can't wait to, to show you guys even more. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to hit that like button and I'll see you real soon. Ooh.